So just as a little PSA, if you are part of the 70% that is not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you could hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Now let's get right into the video. So this part right here, um, I forget that I mute my mic, um, so for like an hour or so, probably two and a half hours during this gaming session, um, this entire, like, um, playthrough was kind of muted, but I think here I was trying to say that this, uh, I'm gonna make it completely out of cobblestone, like a trophy room, showing off my current armor and where those, uh, item frames are is going to be named like the first of what I get but I kind of cleared this out and I'm I think I'm gonna fill it up with cobblestone and um, I hope it'll be fine I'll probably put the uh, nether portal down here also sorry for the um, skip there so the trophy room is down below these stairs I cleared this little room out um, as a sort of uh, secondary storage room, I guess. It's meant to be like a tree house. Uh, the first house where I was, uh, I'm planning on taking down because I don't really like it that much. It was going to be cool, but then I started thinking about it. I was like, eh, look kind of trash. So um, I decided to scrap that idea and go with something different here. Um, that house there yeah but I am going to remove that one probably um, later in the episodes and just primary prioritizes I also built like a little mine shaft out there and I've uh, moved the farm and I'll probably eventually end up separating it but I don't know so I would like to see how that all kind of turns out And now with this um, little storage room thing being done, um, I would like to kind of clear that out, you know, put every piece of the first set of my armors. Um, I did add some more item frames and stuff there. But like I said, I, that house it kind of was an eyesore. It's just off and unproportional. And I'll try to fix like the little farms and stuff. Make it a little more efficient because I need this room for a lot of stuff. And I think I started uh, organizing a little bit because organization in the first, uh, like, I guess, first half of your playthrough mm -hmm. is always uh, good for, <laughs> I guess, to survive. So that way you know where stuff is. But, um, because you need eight sticks and a piece of leather for your item frames I decided I would uh, knock out some of that they have to do too much work there's like a little iron or a cow farm you can do but it takes a lot of like I guess trial and error and through later uh, additions of the games like later updates and stuff stuff uh, definitely get broken but uh, and like stuff doesn't work how it used to I want to try to get an egg farm, uh, like with the chickens, and like a sheep shearing farm put in eventually, but I don't know how that'll work. So I know I like spending a lot of time down here and all, but uh, I kind of want to put like right there in the center here, the uh, nether portal. I'll try to work out like all the right dimensions and kind of get it even as possible. But, uh, I think it'll be, you know, a cool little addition. And I'll fill this up with chests and my, uh, storage places, you know. Probably make, like, a fed little bit, a fake bed up here. That's the mine shaft. But I'll probably make, like, a fake little bed type of storage thing up here. Um, just, you know, just for looks, I guess. It's not so ugh. So I did do um, some kind of off-camera work and stuff. It, like, um, found some coal and stuff. I just decided to go down into the mine shaft, get it going a little bit, and uh, 
go ahead and get the process for diamonds. Hint, hint. But, uh, <laughs> um, just wanted to kind of improve at the beginning. And then I decided, um, like right about here somewhere. You know, I didn't know the coordinates because you have to be at like Y13 to find diamonds. And so, uh, I go into my settings here in a second and switch on the coordinates. I did turn on my coordinates and funny enough, I have had to uh, stay down here, you know, for a few minutes at this point. It's been like 10 minutes, I guess, because I did go a few other different directions just trying to strip mine a little bit and see if I could find anything and uh, I've had to resupply at least once or twice but I wanted to cut a lot of this out because I knew it could be very boring um I found a little cave here I think all I find was just iron also I'm talking in a uh a future present type I guess I don't know this was in the past, but my mic, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my mic was uh, off, so I had to go back in and uh, do like a little voiceover for you. Just so it wasn't just straight up, just a clip of nothing. But uh, I quite enjoyed this game. Would like to know if you would, you know, if you see this or hear this, I should say. Because I'm quite having a lot of fun, actually. I love editing videos, you know. They bring me joy. And I would like to know some feedback in, down in the comments, you know. Or with likes, that would work, too. You know, if you like it, like it. If you don't, then don't. But I guess with that being said, I could kind of quit it here. But I want to show you the juicy part at least where I find the diamonds because this is very boring I know it is just searching through these singular little caves looking for stuff and there not being anything here so around this point you know you start finding the uh, redstone lapis and stuff you start getting really happy because you know you're about that level and then when you find lava you know you've got kind of close to it but um it took me a few minutes longer than this, like 10 minutes I think later, and then I'll find diamonds. But um, I have to find or get an iron pickaxe to be able to get uh, redstone and lapis and stuff. So I wanted to get as much iron as I can so I don't completely deplete my storage uh, space in the house. Um, and I need to get more coal. Wish I would have done it while I was there, but I'll just come, probably go back and get it. But I get as much iron as I can, you know. And then I think it was around about this time I jumped up here and found gold. And then started getting really happy. Because it's kind of a rare thing to find that easily. Now right here, if you notice, um, I think I skipped over it. It's like literally right up this hill. Like little kind of cave thing. I'm kind of angry that it took me a little bit to notice it. And if you notice here, it's all full now. My uh, chest and stuff are filled up. The barrels are meant to be for uh, food. This would be my miscellaneous chest. Just kind of odds and ends. This is constructive stuff. Buildings, uh, stuff such and such I should say. The chest next to it right here is all my ores, my crafting and stuff to get my iron. And I'm about to craft an iron pick to go grab, or an iron pickaxe to go grab, a, go grab up me some uh, redstone and very soon find my diamonds. So um, when I closed that little water source off, these were a pleasant little surprise. Um, quite them being somewhat rare, at least me not being able to find them. Um, I found these also, literally like right around the corner from it, pretty much. Uh, kind of down a little corridor. I found more. These were the ones I was talking about previously, the ones that were up the little cave thingy, my bobber. I guess the little cave wall. 
and right down here in like two seconds we find my babies my little preciouses they're so cute i'm so happy i uh, i ended, i didn't show the mining it kind of cut there but i ended up with five diamonds and i was just so over like so overjoyed dude like it was just like there of all places you know and i just started digging out to see how much i could find and just i was just genuinely like overwhelmed dude i also got very scared because i was like i could easily die and lose all five of these and then i was gonna cry not literally but i'd be very upset